Hey guys, you remember in my last video where I told you um, I just pour over pieces that I don't like? Well, in this video, <laughs> you will see how I make a nice painting, how everything goes very well, but it dried like crap. Um, something went wrong, uh, either I didn't sand it down enough or maybe a little bit of varnish was still, yeah, still coming through. I don't know, I don't know, but it just started bubbling up and it left uh, the painting with like uh, all types of holes and cells that were popping up in not the right places. So yeah, that's the piece. <laughs> so yeah, I decided to just scrape it all off and was of no use. Um, I was pretty sad because I kind of liked it and I will still show you the video because yay, the video was still okay um, and what I did was perfect it just didn't dry good um, and that happens that that just yeah it's part of the process uh, you always have to make sure that your um, art is still or your canvas is always level uh, when to dry you have to make sure that the there's no dust flying around, that there's no stupid bugs uh, that are getting stuck in your paint. So yeah, you have a lot of things that you have to, um, yeah, that you have to think about. Um, so yeah, um, so I can show you a dried result of uh, this video, but uh, yeah, you can still see the video and yeah, tell me what you think. <laughs> okay, so catch you next time. Ciao. Um, I will start with, my paint's gray, there's not much left, but it will be enough. Um, I'm thinking I'm going from dark to light up there. So, going to my paint's gray, and that's it. Not more than that. Um, then I have my indigo which is like something between uh, green and blue. Oops. I'm just layering them a little bit on top of each other because that's how you get your depth in the, in the painting or in the paint. And there we go. Then I have, this is a, a phthalo blue. You see the consistency, it pours right off my stick into the cup, but it leaves a little, little mountain. There's like some relief on it. So then it sinks level. So that's how my paint is, but you know, I have a tutorial on how I mix my paint. So if you're interested, you can watch that. Just again, layering them on top of each other. And I love the tail of blue, so, I always put a lot of that. Uh, this is cerulean blue. Same consistency. Since I want the light on top, that is it. Um, and this one is a different mix of this one is a mix of different types of light blues and some iridescent medium. So just adding it, not too much. And this one is sky blue. A little bit over here. And that's it. And then I have like the most shimmery blue. It's all, uh, it's also thalo blue. And I added also iridescent medium uh, to make sure, and I added a lot to it. So that will give it a real shine. We'll see what will happen with this one. Okay, well, that is it for now. So now I'll just blow it out with my blow dryer and from there I will see if I have to change my composition or if I have to do something else. Later I will still add a um, contrast color and some silver.
it. I'm pretty happy with what I see right here. Um, the thing is, sometimes you have like, you know that there's a lot of paint on it and you know you have to blow it out. But the thing is, you have something gorgeous coming up at a corner or at the side and you're like, I don't want to blow that out. But the thing is, if you don't do that, um, you will get cracks in your paint and yeah, then your painting is ruined at the end. So even though you have pretty things, you still have to blow it out if your paint is too thick on your canvas. Okay, so I checked all the sides, all the corners are done, everything has paint. Um, so now I will add my red and silver. Just hope I don't ruin it. Go from here up to there. And then this is my silver, although it's pretty grayish silver. I'm not sure what it will give. And that's it. I like how the red is like really staying on top of the, um, of the blue and here it's mixing a little bit, that's how it becomes purple, but it's just, yeah, it's lovely. Okay, I'll bring the camera closer so you can see what I mean with the beautiful piece that I have right here and the beautiful piece right here where the red and the blue made a kind of purple color. Okay, I'll bring the camera closer. Thanks. Here it is. Let me show you what I mean. I did not want to blow that out again. I love how it looks. And then right here, look at that spot. Just love how yeah, the red is blending with the blue, but still stays on top of it right there. Yeah, pretty happy with this piece. Like over there as well. It's mixing and still like lacing on top of it. Yeah. Let me show you the whole piece. And that is it. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you next time. Bye.